like this before. All right, Shalom. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadashi. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful <laughs> elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. And I'm here with the brothers in the door sit down. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. And uh, what was the title? It was um, the separation between us and family. It was something. Yeah, hey. The, the separation between you and your family, all right? Because we at a time where, you know, the Lord is gonna, well, let me say this, the Lord is bringing Jacob's trouble, man. You know, Bible for shots, somebody can get that, Jeremiah 30. Just real quick, you know, Jacob's trouble because this is the beginning, man, all right? And us brothers that's of the faith, the hopeful elect, you know, we pray for the Lord to have mercy, but one uh, uh, thing that can hold you back, you know, if you being emotional, will be your family, man. You know? Bring that up. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. This is the last, but that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That's right, man. This is the time of Jacob's trouble. And as soon as these months go by, as the documents that they put out there, like Trump, he put out in uh, September, he want to warp speed, a, a, a forced vaccine. You know, now this vaccine, you know, uh, is is uh is, is detrimental to your, your your body, man. You know, they want to basically force these vaccines on you, you know, so that what, you know, you can be uh, immune to this COVID-19. When all reality, this COVID-19 was a what plan a pandemic. You know, you know. So uh, Jacob's trouble is coming, man. They got a bill called uh, HR 6666. Where they want to go inside your home and separate you from your family and this and that and that and this. Well, the Bible talked about it, man. You know, but that main uh, important thing that's in the back of your mind, you know, uh, losing faith is what? You caring for your family, man. You know? But, um... Got a precept? Yeah, come. Yeah. The one in Psalms first, Lord. Oh, yeah, you can bring that up. Come. Yeah. This is uh, Psalms 27 and 10. So long. Psalms 27 verse 10 When my father and my mother forsake me Then the Lord will take me up Alright so when your father and your mother forsake you How they gonna forsake you too By giving you and handing you over to the authorities And pretty much saying look my, my son is doing such and such He's going against your policies Or what you want to mandate And a lot of our families gonna sell us out But we as, as prophets we gotta uh, train ourselves to to uh, love less, okay? When it says love not your family, brothers could grab that too. Um, love not your your, um, your family, all right? Meaning really is to love less, all right? Um, to you know because you got a lot of our families that are not in the truth, so they don't understand um, what this thing is about. So of course they're gonna sell us out to the authorities and to Esau's system, all right? Oh, why you ain't taking a vaccine? You should be taking a vaccine. Like, okay, my son is hiding over here, such and such, and that's what a lot of our family. <laughs> Right, because they're ignorant to, to the truth. That's right, man. Hey, read that again, man. God, this is uh, Psalms 27 and 10. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Yeah, and we encounter that most of the times when you first come into this truth, man. All right? The Most High, when your father and your family, your mother forsook you, the Most High will take you up, man. You know, did not the Lord say he come not to send peace, but a sword? You know, which we could get into that. Uh, read, read that again. God. This is uh, Psalms 27 and verse 10. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Go ahead. Teach me thy way, O Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Right, and that plain path is this path for the truth, man. All right, which is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. All right, not being wicked. Lord taught us how to take care of our bodies, all right? He taught us how to use right judgment, you know, the plain paths of the Lord, man. And that's the path that we're taking in the end of this world, man, which the end of this world is the end of Esau. And that's what we're in, all right? What we're about to witness is Esau's great horns, okay? His, uh, his, his uh, lies and everything's being exposed. He's about to show himself as the devil that the Bible speaks of 
but right at the same time, the Lord is about to show his glory in the earth and who really rules and governs the world. Psalms 27 and 12, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. Hey, the will of our enemies, the will of our enemies, man. What is the will of our enemies? First on taking the vaccine, okay? Taking the mark, the uh, mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, all right? And what they're gonna use is fear, all right? They're gonna say, if you don't do this, then you're gonna have to go do this, okay? They got laws they wanna pass where if you don't take this vaccine, they're saying that uh, if they pass this, it's not passed yet, but they're saying that you won't be able to renew your driver's license, you won't be able to go back to work, you know? Why is it so important for these, these Edomites to stick these chemicals inside our bodies? And then, on top of it, with this vaccine, they're talking about um, this, uh, this uh, what they call API jet, RFID tag, tag attached to the doses. You know, what is the actual procedure of that? Is that actually the microchip that they want to input its insurgent inside the body? Well, we don't know quite yet. But we do know, according to scripture, that the chip is the mark of the beast. So whether how it falls, the chips falls down, hey, you shouldn't be taking the vaccine anyway. All right? And guess what? You're going to be greatly tested, okay, when you got your family. All right? Your family, you know, you're going to say, well, what about them? You may say yourself, I'm not going to do it. But then when they put the fear on you, to take your, the, uh, the fear on you before they say, I'll take your children away from you, you know? or this and that, then guess what? You don't wanna fold, man. And, and guess the elect is not gonna fold, man. Okay? And, and I mentioned this too, Ock, that uh, the bill states that they're not gonna take you by force. In the bill, there's nowhere in the bill that it states they're gonna take you by force. But where resistance comes force, and right. that's how Esau does things. If you resist something, then they'll force you, and that's gradualism too. Mm. Um, and just finish it all, you know, I'm gonna finish mm. off. Uh, Psalms 27 and, and 12, deliver me not over, unto the will of mine enemies for false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty. Yeah, false witnesses, man. That be those of your family, man. Yahweh Shai spoke of that. Those, they be uh, foes of your own household, man. Okay? False witnesses lying on you, man. Having a false report. Paul said, we're killed all the day long, man. Nay, when more than conquerors do him that love us, man. But we're beat up all the day long. This is not our world, man. Okay? This is not our rest, as the scriptures say. You know? You got to expect that you're going to be demonized on a high level. You got to expect that you're going to be persecuted. So when you expect these things, when the Lord said count the cost, all right? You meddle in it. And then what? What you do? You hide yourself in the scriptures. You pray. All right? You seek the Lord's face every day, man. There should not be a day that go by you're not praying. And especially in this season we're in now, man. You know, we drawing closer to the Lord, not apart, but closer, okay? And if you think about it too, it's like in this world, people's understanding of the Bible is based off of what somebody else tells them, you know, so they easily manipulate it, you know, so when it comes to us, they're understanding, oh, well, I never really knew what he was into, but that makes sense. He was always acting weird, you know what I'm saying? So when Esau, when they don't, when they can't, when they can't figure out, you know, Esau's going to throw, oh, he was doing this, this, and this. See, I got pictures. You know, just like with that, uh, you know, with them brothers out there in uh, San Fran, mm -hmm. when they was doing America's uh, uh, most uh, world's most hate group or whatever, oh, yeah. they was only playing. They was only playing, you know, what made us look bad. They didn't. They never played what you know when they were being antagonized on when the scoffer came up and you know tried to harm them either. Right, they come on, you know? world side. Oh, it was on world side. Yeah. World side. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So um, I got a quick three seven brothers. Don't y'all brothers of the heart. This is uh, 2nd Edges 14 and 13. Now therefore set thou house in order and reprove thou people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Let go from thee mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of men. Right, it's our houses, it's us man. You know, we are the representatives, the scriptures say in 1 Corinthians 3 and 9, that you are the most highest temple, you know? And your house, you know, which your spirit dwells in, you gotta set that in order, man. You know, because things are gonna change. You're gonna be hated. You trying to, you know, you wanna try to figure out why, man. You know, but it's hey, when you embrace, like we always say, when you embrace for the punch, it makes it that much easier to absorb it, man. Right. That's right. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. Right, because it's all spiritual, man. You know, it's all it's all spiritual, man. These people, 
you know, in the flesh, you might be cool with them, man. But in the spirit, they hate you, man. They don't know what it is about you, but it's something about you that reminds them of their wickedness. Yeah, and, the, and the scriptures say, your mortal thoughts and the burdens that we go through is weak nature. It's a weak, okay? The Lord made us to be strong mentally, spiritually, all right? And eventually, he gonna make us physically strong, man, by the way of his spiritual powers. So it says, put off now the weak nature. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. So the hasting meaning you want to, you want the Lord to come quick, man. Okay, you want to be away from this world. We don't want to be a part of this stupid shit, man. I was telling these brothers, uh, you know, a little was going on yesterday. It was going on with me and things that nature and my family or whatever, you know. And it's a, it's a, a man. You got to look at it like this, man. You got to look at it like this. Everybody in your family gonna die, man. Everybody, man. Everybody, man. And if the Lord have mercy on who you pray for as your immediate family, especially your family really is the brethren, man. Right. You know? Real, man. Yeah, these are the ones that's gonna be delivered. But guess what? You got your immediate family, you got your woman, your kids. Hey, the Lord, if the Lord's willing, he have mercy. But but everybody else, you know, you wanna include your moms, your pops, you want the Lord to have mercy, but really. Is they go, it, you know, the way it looks now, this this C19 pandemic, people scared to come outside. People, you know, they scared the the wind going to blow and they're gonna get the virus. They're gonna take that chip, man. This is uh, Matthew chapter 19 and verse 29. And everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake. So receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. You got it. So you got to pretty much put off your family. It's not saying okay, you can't uh, um, have some type of uh, love for them because the scriptures say too. Uh, what the scripture says, um, the hate hate your family, hate your father, and mother. Oh right, right. Really means to love less. A lot of people. We get it. We get it. Yeah, I grab the food. Come. No, you can put it out. This is uh the book of uh Luke chapter fourteen. And verse Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother, all right, going to the word hate, it means uh batar. Block it. Mm -hmm. Oh, miss Miseo. To hate. Alright, uh, I'll just go down and say strong's definition. From a primary word, miss missiles hatred to the to the test, uh, especially to persecute by extension to love less. Right. Ooh. Right. To love less. To love less your family, right? Because you're occupied in, in its truth. You gotta love less because if you're occupied in your family, you know what? You're gonna start gravitating to them more than right. the Lord. Oh, uh, that. Right. Yeah. Hey, hey, oh, oh, brother, make a mention. Made me think of Paul, uh, First Corinthians seven. When Paul said a man, if he's married, he would care for the things of his woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if he's not married, he'll care for the things of the most high. You know? So we, we're supposed to uh, really put our mind and, and our full our, our full minds into this truth. We see the times approaching. Our family ain't going to be there to defend us. The Lord just said he will not forsake us. The one that created your father and mother, he's not going to forsake us. He'll bring them back in the kingdom in their right, right mind. Right. But in this particular time, they're not in the right mind. They're going to sell us out. Right. No brothers already feel it. We already know what time it is. We can discern the times. Yeah. yeah man. Hey, uh, also too, you know, um, uh, what I was gonna say, the Lord, the Lord, um, you know, this right here, what we're bringing up is a stumbling block, okay? Especially to those that's in the government churches, all right? The two thirds, man. Because this is, this is not normal to the natural man. You know, and the scriptures talk about a natural man, a spiritual man, you know, a, a natural man can't receive the things of the spirit. This is of the spirit. This is of the Rakakwadash, the spirit, holy, holy spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is teaching us, Yahweh Shai, okay, he's teaching us that to love your family less because he's greater, okay? The heavenly father is even greater, all right? You know, there's nothing to the Lord for you to have your family back after you finish the job, man. Because we're going to have the earth and, 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 and much hey, more. Hey, 100 fold? God. Hey, Yahweh Shah said in uh, St. John 10, okay? 10 and 10. He said, uh, oh, yeah. he's, uh, the thief cometh not 
I'll drive, I'll drive. Right, oh, you, you, you want to grab it out? Or... Oh, you can grab it. Right, come, come. Mm -hmm. This is uh, John chapter 10, verse 10. This is uh, John chapter 10 and verse 10. So like This is John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that's Esau. That's what Esau is doing, man. Right now, they just destroyed their old their their world, their society, and they're trying to build, striving to build it back up in this new world, this world that we all merge with technology. All right, we be transhumans, microchips in our body, cyborgs. We have camera eyeballs and things of that nature. This is their sick fantasy, man. There's one thing, um, one article I was reading, so I finally got the name of the article was Elon Musk. He said he's trying to do away with ordinary language. Wow. And because they're artificial intelligence, trying to do it like what I was speaking now, he's trying yeah. to do away with words. These devils are something else. Yeah, yeah, man. They're trying to do away with everything that is natural given from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Their, their whole uh, uh, position is attacking the Most High and his creatures, that's, that's and doing. especially the chosen ones who the Lord have chosen, that seed of Israel. It really, it really goes back to him uh, 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 basically taking back the birthright which he had gave to Jacob, man. All right, over a morsel of meat, you know, because it showed that he wasn't spiritual at the time. But that's a covenant that can't be broken. The Most High honored that covenant. Even after Jacob supplanted Esau, guess what? The Lord was with Israel after that. History went on, man. All right, the future went on. And now it became what? History to us in, in this flesh today, you know? But guess what? The movie, the book, the scriptures is still playing. It's not over yet. It's immutable. The <laughs> Lord, he said he can't lie. It's immutable, meaning it can't be changed or altered. The Lord, the Lord sticks by his word. He's not going to say, okay, today I'm going to do a different thing. No, right. he loves his people. All right, but two-thirds got to be, well, right. on this side, no. We don't love, you know what I mean? Love not the sinner or, but he's got to kill off two-thirds. Right. He loves his elect. Right, he said, uh, no? uh, uh, he, he, uh, 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 he's, he don't change, at least Jacob be consumed. Yeah, you right. know, Jacob be consumed, he changed. Not yep. Yeah, man. Um, oh, I still that gotta finish yeah. that. Yeah. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And that's Yahweh Shai, man. He said he have he will come that we will have life more abundantly, man. We can't we don't have life abundantly with Esau, man. We, we, we're like rats in a maze, man. We all crammed up on top of each other. Each block is like a rat maze, man. That's why they, they're, they're, they're willing, well, this is why they at least use the term, uh, the people are sheeple, you know? You're not, you're not, and then Trump used the word also, they need to herd us, you know, into this new way of living, the new norm. You know, they use the word herd. What do you herd? You herd cattle, all right? You put cattle together and you herd them into where they need to go. You know, they're acting like, well, excuse me, right now they're claiming to be the shepherd, but they're the false shepherd, all right? They're the ultimate false shepherd that will lead the sheep into slaughter, man. The good sheep. Verse 11, I am the, I am the good shepherd. The good Ooh. shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. See, that's Yahweh Shai. That's not talking about Donald Trump. That's not talking about the Rothschild family, neither. And all these international banking families, man. You know, that's not talking about the Moabites, which today we call them the Chinese. That's not talking about the Japanese, the Ammonites, or the Hamites, or the Ishmaelites. That's Yahweh Shai, okay? He's the good shepherd. He's the one that's coming to give us abundance, man. Meaning we're going to have land. We're going to have flowing alkaline water, all right? We're going to have uh, uh, herbs and spices, man. We're going to have uh, the men are going to be considered princes again of the Most High, having multiple women, yep. all women in order and subjection, meaning perfect, man. Yeah. Keeping the laws, never going off from the most high, man. That's what we want, man. Yep. So when it comes down to, you know, feeling bad about your family members or you got to accept that they're going to die, man. They're going to die, man. Everybody here going to die except for the elect, man. That's how your mind got to be programmed or wired in these latter days, man. And in, in this season, they're going to fucking die, man. So don't worry about how they're going to die. Don't worry about it. Just worry about you. Fulfill, uh, for finishing the Lord's will, which is being his servant, man. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 16. Though these three men were in it as I live, saith the Lord power, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters. They oh, that's Job. That's the Job. 
yeah, 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 so that I cut off men and beasts from it, which is for the Esau. Right. Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord power, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. Hey, this is the Lord boasting about these three men. What was it? It was Job, Daniel, and Noah. And Noah. He was boasting about these three men and their integrity, man. The Lord, when you read, when you keep reading down, the Lord is going to keep reiterating the same thing. But he's proven to you the point that it didn't matter what he brought upon the earth. It didn't matter what sword he brung. These three men had integrity. They only cared for themselves to be delivered. And that's the right way. That's the right mindset, man. So if you too mushy, too emotional, you're not going to make it in these last days, man. You got a lot of Israelite camps out here and they're not teaching the seriousness of this truth, man. You're not teaching the seriousness of this truth. The seriousness of this truth is you being built up for the day of the battle. How do you get built up for the day of the battle? It starts with you. It starts with your mind and the spirit, man. Then you can face the eyes in the physical, man. We're being trained to leave this place. They're being trained to stay here. Right. It's, like it's the mm. opposite. We want to leave. They want to stay. Right. And uh, you got more? Yeah, it's a little more. This is... Uh... Verse 19, or if I send a pestilence into that land and pour out my fury upon it mm. and blood to cut off from it man and beast, though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, saith the Lord power, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. By their righteousness. So it's about us performing righteousness in the earth. Esau is, is performing the wickedness. You know, this goes back to the time where, you know, we went off, okay, ultimately, you know, with the serpent beguiling Eve, you know, or when they say in Genesis, when the Lord had asked, he asked the sons of the Most High to come unto him, and Satan even also came, you know, but importantly, we had to learn what? Wickedness. We already knew righteousness. So Esau is the wicked that is showing us the ultimate, the ultimate wickedness of the earth. Not what not to be so now we can rightfully be the gods in which the bible the scriptures speak of psalms what is it 80, 82 83 he said 82 or 6 yeah ye are yeah, gods God, God like men. yeah and guess what we're gods which just means in the hebrew allah means power so we're less of power than yahweh bashim yahweh shai but a greater power over the other nations you know this uh jeremiah chapter 16 the word of the Lord came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shall thou have sons or daughters in this place. For, and that place is talking about America or wherever the Israelites are scattered, okay? Right. For thus saith the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning the mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land. They shall die of grievous depths. Right. They, hey, if I could have, because you might... You know, most brothers don't really have a woman, and the scriptures do say he that is without a woman shall go up and down the street mourning. You know, but at the same time, you have brothers that do have women that you might have been with this chick before. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had kids before you came into the truth. You know, but it's like, you know, this woman, while you at camp or while you at work, you know, she's probably, you know, having her kids celebrate, um, you know, this wicked ass holidays. You know, so it's justified at the end of the day. You know, and as a brother, because that goes, always goes into, this woman could, uh, hey, you know, because she don't have faith, you know, so when Esau uh, represents a solution, when it seems like there's no way out, she's going to take that, man, you know, that's what, she, you know me bitches right away, when something goes, you know, when something happens now. Right. And also to mention too, Cornelius saved his household, right? Right. He pleased the most high. Like right. the Lord on the flip right. side could actually save could, you know yeah. what i mean and deliver your sons and your daughters in this place too if, it, if it's pleasing yeah. if that man of the most high is faithful all right to the yeah, heavenly yeah, father yeah. and yahweh shah he could deliver you you know i just want to finish this they shall die of grievous deaths they shall not be lamented neither shall they be buried but they should be as dung upon the face of the earth and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine and their and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth 
Yeah, and that's important. The Lord told Jeremiah that because at that moment, guess what, man? In the season and time the Lord is bringing his wrath, he's preparing Jeremiah's mind. Don't have seed. Exactly. Don't have daughter in this place. Don't seek to be married. Just seek my righteousness, all right? Because I'm bringing wrath upon Israel. And, and, till to the, and still to this day, the Lord has a controversy with Israel, all right? And this is the last punishment that we're all as a nation going to go through. So there's great judgment coming for the two-thirds. So the Lord got to clean his house first. That uh, draws me back to this scripture real quick. I'll finish it. This is uh, 2nd Edges 14. It says, um, Now therefore set thou house in order, and reprove thy people, comfort such as them that be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. Let go from thee mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, and put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste to flee from these times. That's the same mindset that you should have that the Lord was even preparing Jeremiah for. All right? Now verse 16, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Look for how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. For the truth is free far away and leasing is hard at hand. For now hasteth the vision to come which thou hast seen. All right, so the vision, okay, is what? The destruction, the ultimate destruction from the thermonuclear fire, man. The vision is martial law. The vision is when these stormtroopers come in your house and drag you out, man, okay, and ravish your wife, man. The vision is sedition among men, civil unrest, okay? Okay, the Israelites versus the Edomites and the Israelites versus the Moabites, the Israelites versus the Hamites, man. Because in America, you got nothing but a, a, a pool here, man. You got, you got these different nations sectioned off in their little spots, man. And guess what? The Lord did speak about how he's going to bend the bow and then shoot the arrow with Judah and Ephraim, roughly paraphrasing, meaning that he is going to bind the Israelites back together to make them strong again before this place go out, man. So you got a little pocket race wars popping off, you could call it, all right? These things are going to happen. This is a part of the vision. This uh, Hebrews chapter 13, starting at verse 5, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content or satisfied with such things as he had. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Okay, so the Lord is going to be with us until the end of this age. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man should do unto me. So we scared of Esau roll, coming with that great wrath? No, because that's why you prepare your mind now for the battle to come, all right? That's what a, a soldier, a Yahweh Shah sends um, uh, soldiers out there to, to be men. Gird up, the, the Most High even told Joe, gird up, the loins, the, um, gird up um, your loins like a man. Right, right, that's right, man. And uh, just because brothers have, we brothers quoted the scripture, but well, we spoke about it, you know, how the brother made mention, how the Lord, he's going to save family soon. But the mindset that you got to have is that, look, man, that all these people are going to die. I pray that the Lord have mercy on this, this, this. But guess what? At the end of the day, they're going to die. You know, and it don't matter. As long as the Lord deliver me, you know. Now, just to uh, know that, um, I don't want to read the whole account here, but you can read in Acts 16, beautiful chapter with Paul and Silas. They got hemmed up for... Uh, you know, Paul healed that lion, that woman that had a lion divination, oh, and they yeah. got put into the jail cell. The Lord had a, a little like a, a earthquake shake, and the chains fell off of them, and so on. But the guy, which was the jailer, the uh, the, the uh, officer, we know through he was an Israelite because Paul uh, basically blessed him in his house, man. So I'm gonna quickly read. It says Acts 16 and 28. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, "Do thyself no harm." for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. Now that's the jailer, the officer. Paul cried out and said, look, do yourself no harm. Because this man, you know, he didn't want to suffer the hands of the, of the Romans, all right? He didn't want to suffer the death of them or his family. He was willing to kill himself because of the charge, the order that he had over them for them not to flee. Right. Right. You know, so he was so shooken up that if they would flee, he know he was a dead man. That was it. That was it. You know, yeah. so Paul was looking out for him. Paul, he wasn't mad at the officer. And that's why you got some guys, man, these different camps. You're supposed to agree with your adversary quickly if you in the way. You know, so you can easily get by and continue to teach the truth. You know, not every police officer is a, um, 
Well, let me say an Israelite, okay, excuse me. Not every Israelite police officer, you know, uh, is just out to get you, man. You know, even though it seems as though, but they not, man. You know, you got to read the spirit, judge the spirit by the spirit. It says, uh, verse 29, and he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? So this guy, he saw the, the officer, he believed in the Lord through this miracle. That's why things got to happen to us. This is why, you know, uh, uh, some of us is uh, going to be cast into prison. You know, some of us is going to be put to death. It's all to, to, uh, for, to, to give the Lord's glory, man. Certain things got to happen for other things to appear. You know, it says, and they said, believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shah and Mashiach, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. All right. You know, and, and, and your brother may mention a Cornelius and his family, you know, so that shows you that, yeah, the Lord is going to save, you know, those of your house. But that ain't what you should really be worried about. Worry about yourself, man. And, I, and I, our families, too, to mention, they're like our biggest enemies as well. Yeah. Because the men's foes are those of his household. Mm -hmm. Brothers, right? That's scripture, too. Yeah. The men's foes are those of his household. Like, they're our big, biggest family. You know? Y'all got it right here. Y'all bust the heart. This is uh, Matthew 10 and 34. I read into it. It says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and daughter against her mother and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. Now, the word variance, when you look that up, it just means a difference. Now, this is this is also another stumbling block. All right? A lot of, hey, if you, if you, you what you in this truth for? You gotta be serious minded, man. This truth is life and death. That's the truth. It's not a fab, it's not a phase, it's not something you just wanna be a part of. This is our true identity and our inheritance, man. These are the law, statutes, and commandments that we are that we are governed by, man. All right, this is the reason why we're in this shit hole now, okay, for not uh, uh, hearkening to the Lord. So, yeah, and that's how it normally is, man. When you come to the truth, first thing you lose is what your woman, all right. Your parents think you're crazy because they're most likely into some other religion, all right. You know, so hey, that's 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 uh, we see that, man. You know, we actually been walking that, and it's going to continue to be the same way until we leave this place. You know, because Esau Edom, he has that stronghold over Jake. You know, so as they believe in prosperity, the only way, as I said before, the only way is to uh, get down with the program. Can I just go into this very so online and tomology? It means a, a state of disagreement. Ooh, disagreement. That's, that's, disagreement. A, that's another good word. Variance means disagreement. So is, is this is this um uh uh what they say? What the what the niggas say in the, the Bible? The Bible contradicts itself. The Bible doesn't contradict itself, you just don't have understanding. This is not a contradiction. Because I heard someone say, well, didn't the Lord tell you to honor thy father, honor thy mother? And then all of a sudden in the New Testament, he tell you that you're going to have you gonna have various against your father and mother. What type of shit is that? Nah, man. It just means what? What was the word? Uh, a state of disagreement a, for variance. A state of disagreement. The Most High is setting a disagreement between you and your pops. That don't mean... Uh, the dishonor You can look up honor and see what that means You can respectfully disagree And honor your father at the same time <laughs> It's always a balance man. Yeah. Every scripture has a balance to it man. You know? Well I ain't going to say every Most scriptures have balance to it yeah. this aim is hey, Let's say that all scriptures Have balance to it The Lord says he's a just way yeah. you know? So the balance is if you go wrong If you if you don't do right you do wrong all right? That's why the most I created the evil spirits, man. To bring forth the balance with the righteousness. You know, you're right, right? This Amos chapter 3, verse 3. How can two walk together except they be agreed? Yeah. How can two walk together except they be agreed? Because, you know, if your father's and your mother is into Christianity or they're, they're in Islam and you believe in the truth, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, how can y'all two walk together into the kingdom? One of y'all kingdoms got to stand. I mean, if you in Ishmael, you believe Allah is the power. And if you in the truth, you're going to say the Most High and His Son is the, is the power. Okay? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's two different kingdoms. We don't speak the same. They tell you in the Quran that Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord, okay, which is our Savior, that He's just a regular prophet. 
and the, and the bike what tells you he's what the the uh the one who laid his life down the, the uh who shed his blood for the uh, uh nation man okay so he's more than just a prophet he's the the top prophet man you know he's the savior man yes yeah so that shows you you know that's now you're going to be at a difference man so you're going to have to choose you have to choose the lord or you're going to choose your family you choose your family you're going to die you choose the lord you're going to live got another one second us chapter 13 verse 31 and one shall undertake to fight against another one city against another one place against another one people against another and one realm against another mm. that's the vision mm. that's right and, and the lord did start it off saying in uh matthews 10 and 34 uh they uh think not that i have come to send peace on earth i came not to send peace but a sword a sword is when you cut someone in half it's two parts there's a division man so just uh continuing to read this is verse 37 he that loved father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me and he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me he that findeth his life shall lose it and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it that's important man all right because you lose your life in this world all right you're not doing the things of the world you're doing the things of your how bashmi i was shy you're refraining yourself from going into your appetites man you're, you're holding yourself back from going into the excess of riots the parties and shit, man the banquets man you know you're holding back why because it could be today to, you know not today but tonight will be what the sabbath day man it might be a party on the day of the sabbath you can't go you're not going you honor your how about shimmy i was shot okay so that's important man uh excuse me my train of thought you lose your life in this world but it says he that he that findeth his life shall lose it because you find your life in this world by the ways of this world you want to be a doctor a lawyer a basketball player you so-called found your life or you a rapper now you found your life right the lord said he that um excuse me he that findeth his life shall lose it and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it so losing your life to this world is not a bad thing if you found your life through the lord if you've given this world up to follow yahweh bashim yahweh shai then guess what you won all right it says, he that receiveth you, receiveth me, and he that receiveth me, receiveth them that sent me. It says, he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, and he that receiveth a righteous man in the, in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give a drink unto these little ones, a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. You know? I got yeah. a preset real quick. You still got time on it? Yeah, it got like, I don't want to touch your 40s, I want to start touching my minimum. Oh, I yeah. got just one more preset. This is Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. But Yahweh shall be held them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What should we have there for? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in, in the in the regeneration, mm. all right, the reincarnation, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his uh, of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first hey man so you know hopefully this lesson is edifying to the hopeful elect through the four corners of the earth man the message is man don't care about your family more than the lord at the, really, the real reality is to say, you know, the hell with him, man. You pray for him, who you love, but don't be expecting the Lord going to save your brother who's not in the truth or your, you know, your auntie and your cousins, man. Lord ain't dealing with them. The Lord dealing with you, all right? And if the Lord do have mercy on you, may he have mercy on, 
you know, your immediate family or the ones who you do pray for, man. But if the Lord don't save them, you can't be mad at the Lord. Be happy and rejoice that the Lord saved you. So at the end of the day, my, my, my thing is, like I was saying yesterday, man, everybody, everybody going to die. If they not in this truth, they're dead, man. You know, but may the Lord have mercy on who we put prayers up for, man. Your family and especially pray for the brotherhood. Pray for the apostles, man. Got to pray for the apostles and give double honors because they the ones that gave their life, all right, and their, uh, 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 what you call, endurance in this truth and the knowledge to us, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shah. Not just knowledge, but understanding and the wisdom, man. And wisdom is just experience. They got the top experience on the earth, man. You know? So, you know, with that, we want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.